So I have a lot of people ask me, both patients and viewers ask, does staring at screens all day really hurt my eyes? And the answer to that is kinda yes and kinda no. It really depends on a couple of different factors. So in today's video, we're gonna break down what the science says about computer screens, our phones, tablets, and how they affect our eyes. Let's take a look. Now the first question that we need to unpack is, will staring at digital screens, like a computer screen, your laptop, or a cell phone, cause my eyes to get worse? Like, will my glasses prescription get stronger and stronger every year because I'm staring at these screens? And the answer to that, at least scientifically, right now, I will say maybe. But a little bit leaning toward probably yes. The whole idea that staring at a near object up close causes your eyesight to get worse and become more nearsighted or myopic is not a new idea. In fact, it's been around for a long time. Even my family medicine doctor friend, she has a old book from the 1800s where they even warned against this again even then. And we've known that people who tend to go to school longer and achieve higher levels of education because they study so much, they tend to have a higher risk of developing nearsightedness as well. And a recent meta-analysis did confirm that myopia progression may be associated with doing near work, which would include staring at your computer, a tablet, and a cell phone. However, really just being indoors is generally considered a risk factor for myopia as well. But as far as digital screens causing this worsening of nearsightedness specifically, we don't really have enough data to say that it's the screen that's causing your nearsightedness to get worse versus like a paper book. Uh, we just know that doing near activities increases your likelihood of needing stronger and stronger glasses for nearsightedness. But according to some studies, progression of nearsightedness is associated with longer hours of continuous near work. You know, like that eight hours of computer time you probably spend at work, plus another six to eight hours of just your cell phone use throughout the day. Sound familiar? Oh, and also holding things closer to your face is also more likely to increase this development of myopia, which certainly is a concern because most of us use our phones so close to our faces. However, and I think this is important to note, that in at least one study, they found that taking a break after 30 minutes of continuous reading combined with at least two hours of an outdoor activity slowed the risk for progression of myopia in university students. So perhaps taking a break every half hour and spending two hours a day outside may kind of negate some of the risk factors of staring at the computer all day. So in short, it may not be the screen's fault that your eyesight is getting worse. It's probably just because you're doing so much near work throughout the day. Okay, so one thing during the editing of this video I realized I maybe wasn't super clear about, and that was the risk factor of progression associated with age. The younger you are, the more likely excessive amounts of near work may affect and increase that risk of your eyesight jumping and becoming more and more nearsighted. Usually young kids about the age of 16 are at the highest risk, then people to about the age of 25 are still at a higher risk, uh, but then after that, the risk goes down quite a bit but some people still progress. Keep that in mind when you dive into this research yourself. Otherwise, let's keep on going. Now, the second question is, will a computer screen damage my eye? Like, will it burn a hole in my retina and make me go blind? And honestly, this kind of question stems really from the dreaded blue light. Oh yeah. I bet you were wondering about that one. Now, there is a lot of research out there on blue light, and researchers and eye doctors are concerned about this, of how it affects our eyes and our brains and our physiology, but honestly, there just isn't enough research on blue light just yet. We just don't know everything. Firstly, the whole idea that blue light could be causing damage to the eye and leading to blinding eye conditions like macular degeneration does make some sense, especially when you consider blue light coming from the sun. That is the major source of all blue light that you're ever exposed to in your lifetime. And just because the sheer amount of energy and power in the sun, that is why it, it makes more sense. And there is some evidence in the published literature that people who are exposed to more sunlight are at higher risk for certain, certain blinding eye conditions. However, these findings and this evidence is still somewhat debated in the entire profession of eye care. Now think of that when you compare to the amount of energy of the blue light that's coming from your computer screen. 
they are not even close. The sun is like a million times way more powerful amount of energy than anything coming from your computer. But in laboratory settings, animal research has shown that blue light exposure from false sources of light can lead to damage of photoreceptor cells, mainly through the process of oxidative damage. The only thing I would like to point out about this is that those research studies are done in a laboratory on like lab rats or with retinal cells in a Petri dish. And that is just not the same as the retinal cells living in the back of your eye. The human eyeball has many different kind of support structures to help prevent oxidative damage and try to help maintain the health and integrity of the back of the eye. And the eye care and research community at large is still uh, kind of just researching and waiting for better conclusive evidence, especially in relationship to blue light coming from a computer screen and damaging the eye. So at this point, we just don't know yet. However, again, because there's not enough energy, uh, probably not. The one thing that I do want to mention though is that there is very good evidence that certain retinal receptor cells in the back of your eye are more sensitive to blue light and play a role not only in your sleep cycle or your circadian rhythm, but also in our mood and even our metabolism. So while there is a lot of doubt that blue light from a computer screen can cause damage to the retina, if you are staying up all night long and staring at your phone screen, it could be influencing the quality of your sleep. Now let's switch gears here for a moment and talk about two ways that we know that digital screens affect our eyes, and that's through dry eyes and eye strain or eye fatigue, which in short term, the combination of these symptoms we refer to as computer vision syndrome. Two ways of which digital screens can cause dry eyes really has to do with tear film evaporation. As in the research, it shows that our blink rates reduce by about two to three times when we're staring at a computer screen versus just normal conversation, meaning you just don't blink as often. And then we'd also, that research shows that our blink amplitude decreases as well, meaning that most of us, when we are blinking on the computer, we, we may not be completely blinking, meaning you're you think that you're blinking, but your eyes, your eyelids really just covering your pupil and your brain sort of thinks that you've blinked. However, in the reality, the lower one third of your cornea may be constantly exposed to air and your tear film is just drying out, causing redness, irritation, sandy, dry eyes. Interestingly, computer tasks that require more attention, more hyper focus to complete are more associated with reduced blink rates and frequency compared to that of, let's say, just watching a movie on your smartphone or something like that. So perhaps this learning to relax a little bit when you're looking at the screen may help with the blinking. Now, what about digital screens causing eye strain or eye fatigue. Well, this one's a little bit more complex because you don't just have like one eye muscle that does all the work. You have a group of several muscles that work together to help you see up close. First, you have the ciliary body inside of the eye. This muscle does a lot of the heavy lifting so that you can keep things like in focus, like looking from distance to up close. Then you have your extraocular muscles. These are the muscles on the outside of the eyes, which help turn your eyes inward so that you can keep the object in front of you single. Otherwise, you'd end up just kind of seeing double all the time. And then you have your pupillary muscles. In fact, there's two of them. And these muscles work together to keep things kind of more in focus and being, helping you see sharp. All of these muscles are tethered together neurologically in your brain. So if you try to use one of these muscles, like the ciliary body to focus, your other muscles work alongside it. And same thing, if you try to relax a different set of these muscles, again, it influences the other muscles too. And then imagine throwing a pair of prescription glasses in front of those eye muscles and suddenly everything changes again. And so you can see why there's entire professions such as the profession of optometry and subspecialties in vision rehabilitation and vision therapy, which just like focus uh, on this major part of the eyes and how they all work together. And sadly, there just isn't a lot of really good research on the exact effects of computer screens or tablets or smartphones on this entire system. But we do know that your accommodative amplitude or your ability to flex the muscle inside the eye, the ciliary body, to bring a distance target to up close, 
That number reduces with both tablet and smartphone use, as well as a reduction in accommodative lag, which I like to say is kind of their precision of focus for keeping an object clear up close. Both of these measures have been found to be reduced with use of these devices. And because of these changes inside of the eye and how they're tethered neurologically to the other muscles, your vergence ability to turn your eyes inward and outward to prevent things like double vision that can be thrown off as well. So it makes sense for when a patient comes in and sees me and says, hey, when I'm staring at the computer screen or I'm trying to do my homework, it seems like letters are splitting in two for a second, or it seems like there's kind of a shadow moving behind the letters. That's oftentimes what a lot of people describe when they're having problems with this relationship with their eye muscles. Now, just to kind of reason this out quick for the people who are interested, most of the time when you're focusing on something like your phone up close, your eyes really aren't focusing exactly at the plane of the phone. You have a little bit of a lag to it. And so your eyes naturally want to kind of focus a little bit behind the target, behind the phone here. Now, if you're somebody who has difficulty keeping things in focus here to begin with, like you're way out here, then you may engage your extraocular muscles on the outside of the eye to pull inward because they're neurologically tethered together. It then forces your eye muscle inside the eye to sort of get a little bit closer to where you're trying to focus. And the reverse can be true as well, meaning that if you have extra ocular muscles that are a little weak and don't want to pull inward to keep things single and clear, you may try to engage the muscle inside of the eye more, now focusing way up here to try and pull those muscles on the outside of the eye together to keep things single. Again, I know it's a bit complex, but hopefully you can appreciate just kind of the beauty of how our eyes really work. So in conclusion, at this time, I feel it's safe to say that, yes, we know that digital screens will likely contribute to eye strain, dry eyes, and that blue light from the screen will likely affect your sleep cycles and some other neurological conditions in some way. And for people who spend a lot of time staring at digital screens, especially just doing near work overall in general, those individuals have a higher risk factor for their eyesight getting worse and having progression of myopia. But hey, let me know your thoughts about this and if you've noticed any changes to your eyes from use of computer screens. Are you noticing your eyes being dry? Are your eyes getting tired, fatigued, or maybe your glasses prescription has gotten worse? Let me know what's going on. Otherwise, if you are somebody who is having eye strain from the computer, I have done several videos about eye strain and even sharing tips on what has helped me and really helping reduce my sense of eye fatigue. So to check out those videos, you can click or tap the screen over here to the side. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Keep an eye on it. See you in the next one.